How do? How do you do a selfie thing? That's better, isn't it? What are you laughing at? And the cat's behind me too. Uh, Faulty Cog, this isn't this isn't a gaming video. Uh, Faulty Cog uh, asked me what, what books do I have on one bookshelf. So this is going to be just a short video, just showing if you don't if you're not into gaming, the books. If you're into gaming but not books, you may as well just go now. But Faulty Cog asked uh, what books do you have on one bookshelf. So I'm just going to spend five minutes, if that. So on books, I've got my bookshelf. The cat's now interested. What's the matter? Do you want to go out? Uh, Pete, you let the cat out. Yeah, so I'm going to show you what books I've got on my bookshelf. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so, well, I don't know what to say really. This is going to be an old video, isn't it? Right. There's my bookshelf. Quick overview before I start. Some of it might not be in order. Uh, I've just done a recent move, so if anything's out of place, or if you want to moan about anything being out of place, you can piss right off. Well, uh, so we start top, middle, or bottom. Bottom it is. Right, so look. Uh, we have on the bottom some uh, graphic novels, Watchman. Essential Wolverine, uh, Dark Knight Returns, Matrix, Return of Superman, Death of Superman. Uh, we've also got the Unexplained. All the Unexplained in folders. Star Trek Angle 1976, Battlestar Galactica, The Cylon Attack. We've got uh, The Art of Oliver Frey, Art of Atari. It's a bottom one. Next level up, uh, signed postcard from uh, Ian Livingston. I see Ian Livingston. Uh, Doctor Who program guide. Stephen King's The Green Mile when it's released in serial format. Let's have a look. Have a look over here. Blade Runner 2. It's a crap book that. I've got it on my shelf so no one else can ever read it. Next shelf up, we enter a bit more science fiction here. Torchwood Archives, Star Trek in Myth and Legend, uh, Beowulf, Secret Diary of Laura Palmer, that is signed. Uh, it's signed by To Me from David Lynch and Mark Frost. That should be wrapped up there. Uh, we've got the June Encyclopedia, which is no longer canon. All June, which are fantastic books. Uh, we've got some uh, fighting fantasy books there. R.C. C. Clarke's uh, Time and Stars. If you're a fan of 2001, you'll know why I've got that. Lost World of 2001. I bought that before Amazon was even a thing. I bought it on the internet. For Amazon was even a thing. Uh, 3001, Rendezvous of Rama. What else have we got? The Authority books, uh, Southern Reach Saga. They are fantastic books. Uh, Slaughterhouse 5, Fahrenheit 451, Waiting, Waiting for Godot, and the Time Machine. The Time Machine. Next shelf up. Yeah. Lost Encyclopedia. I'm a big fan of Lost. Anybody that's seen my tattoos should know that. Uh, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft Atlas. Burning Crusade. Uh, some of the books. When the World of Warcraft was actually good. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Another 2001 thing. It's the uh, movie brochure. Well, not movie brochure. What's it called? What would they call it? Movie Guide. I don't know what you call it, but it's part of my uh, collection, because I'm a huge fan of 2001, so let's see if we can turn it over one I did. It's got seen some 2001 in it. And small bits of information. What's it, what would you class it as? 
brochure, a guide, booklet. Whatever it is. It doesn't leave my house. That's it. There, you had the look. You'll never see it again. Put that back later. Uh, carried on. More Lost. X Files. More Lost. Angel. Some Duck True. Uh, Brian Selby's Maps of Middle Earth. Atlas of Middle Earth. My Karen Fondstad. That's a brilliant book, that. I believe she passed away, though, a few years ago. Quite sad, really. Uh, Star Trek, Where No Man Has Gone Before. Uh, technical Manual, Star Trek, Next Gen. Uh, technical Manual, Star Trek. That's the original Trek. 2001 Film in the Future. Uh, Star Trek Action. That's quite a good book, that. Two X-Files graphic novels. Red Dwarf Space Corps Manual, Doctor Who Titan graphic novel. Uh, this has got on the back one of my quotes from Flickr and Myth. And just inside, one of my quotes from Flickr and Myth too. What else have we got? Uh, oh, my Batman book, which I thought I lost ages ago. Next shelf. Loads of Terry Pratchett. These are all my wife's Terry Pratchett books. Uh, Red Dwarf. My Red Dwarf books. I met Robert, well, I've interviewed Robert Llewellyn, I should say. I've met Craig Charles, not Craig Charles, Chris Barry. I wanted to meet Craig Charles, but he called off. Uh, hoping to meet uh, Hattie Aldridge. Is it Hattie Aldridge? I think it is. Uh, in October. So we've got Us Red Dwarf, Max Headroom, Alan Partridge, more Terry Pratchett, The Daughter's Brother's Grim Book, and my Kestrel for Nave. And another signed Ian Livingston postcard. And up here, in the Fighting Fantasy section, we have got uh, two signed Fighting Fantasy Books. Good luck with the adventures, Ian Livingstone. And this one too. Where is it? Where is it? Come. Have we gone past it? Temple of Terror. Here we go. Two Rod. May your stamina all never fail. Best wishes, Ian Livingstone. I've carried those books around Play Expo when he was there, and I never got to see him. My friend knew where he was. I sent them to him, and he got me them signed. A sliver of my Star Trek books. In the loft, there's a huge box full of my Star Trek books. Uh, Star Wars, the movie adaptions. Aliens, movie adaptions. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide, Trilogy in Four Parts. June, uh, when I got those when I interviewed Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Two, ta uh, not two towers, uh, what's it called? Lord of the Rings, Unfinished Tale, and Silmarillion. What fantastic, that's my favourite book out the whole lot. Uh, Tom Bombadil, that was given to me by a friend. Good, not, not seen it. Oops, don't know what that is. Does that not see it? The Adventures it properly. The Adventures of Tom Bombadil by J.R.R. Tolkien. And next shelf. Well, we have got a collection of holy books. A uh, collection of uh, survival books. And a collection of mystical and spiritual books. Because you never know what's going to happen. Next shelf down, just a random selection of books to be honest with you, a couple of autobiographies, Brian Blessed, Chris Hadfield, uh, Cards Against Humanity, Exploding Kittens, oh yeah, if anybody knows what this collection of Philip Pullman's uh, Northern Lights trilogy is, uh, I'm after the Amber Spyglass, I can't find it anywhere, I got these two in a charity shop, 
Uh, I ditch my regular paperbacks, but I'm after this amber spyglass. If everybody knows what it's called and can link it to me in the description and in the comments below, that would be brilliant. On Amazon, there's a cover, but it said it, the cover is not necessarily what you'll get. But I really want the third book in this style. Uh, next off down, I'm off the wife's Terry Pratchett. She's got a couple of those signed, if I remember rightly, when she met him. She told Terry Pratchett off once. Uh, now these are a small collection of the daughter's books. Her book, uh, own bedroom is filled floor to roof of books. Uh, more of the daughter's books. And this is educational books and uh, reference books. Except for the Bruins. The Bruins isn't reference. Uh, that's just mine. Next is music, which ranges from Offspring, uh, Guns N' Roses, Weezer, Machine Head, White Zombie, Metallica, Deep Purple, Presence of the USA, Shakespeare's Sister, uh, Wonder Stuff, Sepultura, Soulfly, uh, who else have we got there? David Lynch, Crazy Clown Time, we've got loads, Soulfly, Audio Slave, Super Suckers, Gwar, System of a Down, Faith No More, Katie Tunstall, uh, Soundgarden, Garbage, loads. Absolute loads. There you go. That's all the music I've got. Ta -da. So that's my, that's my bookcase. What faulty car got to look at. Do you like it? Comments below. But I'm off. So, uh, where are we going? Let's turn it this way. But I'm off. So, TTF and everybody, tut off and now cheerio and bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Is that a robot up there? <laughs>